Welcome to Excel Works video series. In this presentation, we will demonstrate Excel Advanced and Unique Partial Differential Equation Solver, PDE Solve. PDE Solve is based on the method of lines. It supports advanced modeling scenarios, including regions with discontinuous properties, systems with both differential and algebraic constraint equations, implicit equations with coupled time derivatives, and equations with restricted regions within the system domain. In this presentation, we will demonstrate live in Excel how easy to solve virtually any PDE system with PDE Solve. In part 1, we will introduce a solver for a simple one equation system. In part 2, we will model and solve a three equation three region system with coupled time derivatives and discontinuous properties. And in part 3, we will show how to optimize the model to predict experimental data. There are three main steps to solve a PDE system with PDE Solve. First, we will name some cells to use as system variables. This makes it easier to reference a variable by name like x instead of address a1. Next, we define the system formulas in terms of these named variables, and then we pass these formulas to BDE Solve and run it as an array formula in allocated range. It populates the range with the results. In the first example, we solve the heat equation problem shown on the right. In the first example, we solve the heat equation problem shown on the right with the shown boundary and initial conditions. The equivalent Excel model is shown on the left. The yellow cells B1 to B5 are reserved for the system variables, which consist of the time t, the space x, the state variable u, and the first and second derivative ux and uxx. We define the initial condition formula x times 1 minus x for u in B3. The right hand side of the PD equation is defined in the blue cell B7, which is equal to k times uxx. The boundary conditions are defined in the green range C1 to E2. Each row defines the location type and boundary condition formula, which is always defined with respect to zero on one side. All we need to do next is run PDE solve as an array formula in an allocated range. We pass the equation B7, the variables B1 to B5, the boundary conditions C1, E2, and also pass spatial domain information, which here I'm using a constant array to define the domain 0 to 1, and also the time interval 0 to 0.5. PDE solve runs and displays the formatted solution. Before demonstrating this live in Excel, I would like first to describe the solution output format. By default, the solver reports the solution u, x, and t at equally spaced x points in the first column and t points in the, row in the first row. The spacing of the points depends on the size of the allocated Excel array. If you allocate a larger array for the solver, you get more points. However, it's very easy via solver options to swap the x and t locations which is convenient to generate transient or snapshot plots. You can also specify the exact time or x points you would like to see. You can also display values for the first and second derivatives ux and uxx. Let's demo this live in Excel. In order to enable PD Solve in Excel, you will need to download and install Excel App Calculus add-in from excel-works.com. I have named my cells and defined the model in the colored ranges. We can briefly show the formulas here. To run the solver, I allocate an array to insert my PDA Solve formula. My first argument is the system equation. My second argument is the system variables. My third argument is the body condition range. My fourth argument is the spatial domain range 0 to 1. And my fifth argument is the time interval from 0 to 0.5. Pressing Control Shift Enter runs it and I get the solution. I can highlight the array and insert a scatter plot. Here we are looking at the spatial distribution of u at various time points. To see a transient plot of the solution, I can change the solution format by swapping T and X location. I do this by specifying the format key in the optional controls parameter, argument number 9. Argument number 9 takes key value pairs, which is described in detail in the manual page for PDE solve at excel-works.com. To get to argument number 9, I can skip over optional arguments 6, 7, and 8 and insert a constant array with my key format and value T call 1. If I run again, you can see here that the x and t column have been swapped and then the plot has been automatically adjusted to reflect a transient plot of u at various spatial points. I would like to demo a few more options on how to control the output solutions. I'm going to enlarge the solution array and run again. As you can see, the solution includes more data points for t and x equally spaced between the interval limits. I can specify the exact number of subdivisions for T and or X. For example, I can specify 10 divisions for T and 5 divisions for X and run again. The unused portion of the allocated array is now all filled with zeros. I can also specify the exact output points for X, for example, 0.25 and 0.75 and run again. 
Now I get exactly the points I requested. I can also show the first and second derivatives in the solution. To do this, I can make use of the additional control key and derive out and specify a value of one, which will also include ux in the solution, as you see here. To show ux and uxx, I can change the value for two and run again. And now I have both u, ux and uxx reported at these locations and these time points in the solution. In the second part of this presentation, we will use PDE Solve to model and solve this multi-region PDE system example. The second part we'll be playing next. Please make sure to watch as it will show you how you can systematically and easily solve this system. Thank you.